question from Gaijin American. Uh, surprisingly, not a weird question. Mm. Uh, so Gaijin American is asking the first line of the uh, PRC for people who don't know people uh, that's for People's Republic of China. Uh, PRC's national anthem is arise ye who refuse to be slaves. Oh, how ironic. Mm. Do you think mm -hmm. the PRC might have shot themselves in the foot with a national anthem all about revolution? Yeah, this actually very similar to Iran, by the way. Okay, everything in the Islamic Republic's culture is about revolution theme. Right. So because of the 1979 revolution. Sure. So it's kind of sure. like backfiring right now. Wow. Uh, so Gaijin American saying, can it take on a new meaning with protesters chanting it both to avoid censorship and as a mm. rallying cry of defiance? Well, I don't know about China, but if they want to use Iran as a model, then I would suspect yes. OK. Mm. Mm. In Iran, the regime said like is doesn't know what to do with these narratives right now because a lot of iranian people are saying that we have clips of khomeini constantly saying and khomeini telling people why the revolution of 1979 was justified and if you look at the metrics of why it was justified it, everything they were saying applies to today in the in the current revolution in iran right one thing the um regime says to people is that the current protesters is that they should they shouldn't be protesting they should just accept the law and good citizens just follow the law even if they don't have even if they have a problem with the laws um there are they could just bring it up with the officials and they could like review it even though that never happens that never happens like you get arrested for complaining you get arrested you get shut down you get silenced right yeah. and they're like but even if you your complaints don't get anywhere it's your duty as a citizen to to just obey the laws that's what a good mm -hmm. citizen does and people are like are you are you effing kidding me your entire regime is in power because people didn't obey the law mm -hmm. your your found the founders of this regime are people who rose up against the previous regime and committed illegal acts they started yep. a revolution that was illegal and now you're telling us that a good citizen is somebody who obeys the law what you did not obey the law that's why we have an islamic mm -hmm. republic right mm -hmm. so they're just caught in their own hypocrisy and they're now using it's very interesting because people have clips of Khamenei telling people why they should uh, not protest and they put him right next to clips of him you know a few decades ago about the reason why they themselves had a revolution and why they rose up and just side by side it just sounds so it just looks so hypocritical mm. so i don't know if that's it sounds like in Ch you could do the same thing in china based on what asian american is telling me yeah. one one thing i'll definitely give credit to um the Chinese citizens all throughout the country who have been protesting over the last few years, they are often incredibly, incredibly creative with their ways to organize these rallies and to to voice their dissent. Um, I have seen all kinds of incredible things. Right. I think I think here on Atheist Republic uh, on, on a news uh, a while ago, you guys even talked about how there was um some chinese uh p-o-r-n that was being put out in the country of china that in the middle of it would have dates and times and locations for the next rally you know um i i remember hearing about that um i remember you know seeing about TikTok videos where people would start out by saying like let me show you how the let me show you the best way to put eyeshadow you know on your eyelids and then like five seconds into the video they would be like you know uh just open the open the thing open the makeup and just put it on your eye by the way do you know about all these atrocities that the the ccp is doing to the uyghur muslims and yes, stuff? yes so yes, yes, these these that. these individuals in china that that are protesting are are brilliant with with their ways to um voice their dissent and and protest the ccp so um i totally think I totally think this this should should take on a new meaning and should take on that meaning that they're tired of um, innovative. Thank you. That's a very good word. Um, yeah, truly, 
truly impressive. Um, and yeah, I agree. I mean, I just think in all of these countries where we are starting to see more and more protests, especially the ones that are like hardcore in love with their country's history for protests and stuff. It's like, come on, guys, come on, just take the next step. It's like, okay, your country started because of protest because you claim that the old one was bad. Now this one is bad. So you sh should get a new government. All right. Good job. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, it also works with Islam because a lot of Muslim parents tell their children that they should just remain Muslim because that's the religion of their parents. But Muhammad has hadith where he says to the people before him, to Quraysh, do you just have your religion just because your parents had your religion? And so the people like ex Muslims could just throw that at their parents, right? So, uh, <laughs> oops. Oops. Yeah. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.